So it looks like Walmart is finally trying to use a system to fight against bots purchasing PlayStation 5s. Before we get into the story, make sure you guys are hitting the thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are new. And I've noticed that a lot of you guys who are watching my videos are not subscribed. And I mean a lot of you guys. We're talking well over 60%. Consider hitting that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. So, Walmart appears to finally be using waiting rooms for PlayStation 5 sales. This is interesting. This is something that uh, PlayStation themselves have been doing. If you guys, um, if you guys have ever tried to go to PlayStation's website, they have waiting rooms or a queue line for people wanting to buy PlayStation 5. So that's why this is interesting that Walmart's actually, you know, looking like they're going to do something finally. A recent PlayStation 5 Walmart sale in Canada involved an online waiting room, suggesting the retailer could do the same in the U.S. Getting a PS5 from Walmart has been a nightmare, partially due to Walmart's laces fair attitude towards sales. I probably butchered that. Waiting rooms are one of the best ways to fight bot sales, so your chances of getting a PS5 from Walmart might have just gone up. If you've attempted to get a Sony PlayStation 5, and we're betting most of you have, you've likely faced site crashes, mysteriously emptied carts, and 10-second sellouts. I know I have. Um, I mean, I'm, I got my PS5, but when I was looking for a PS5, I know I've faced all of that. If you tried to buy a PS5 from Walmart, you likely didn't even get that far. You just saw, oh dear, Paige, and cried. Well, how do you know I cried? Um, the, the problem I had with Walmart, and I don't know if any of you guys had this problem when you were trying to buy something from Walmart. When the PS5s went up for sale on Walmart, the first time that I tried to, to, uh, to buy it, they were sold out an hour before the timer was done because the bots had a way to go through the background and be able to buy PS5s without having to wait for the timer to run out. So having this waiting room system would actually benefit quite a bit to be able to fight against that. Uh, well, that might not be the case going forward. Today, during a PS5 Walmart sale in Canada, the retail giant's online portal used a crude waiting room for the drop. This was the first time of which we're aware that the company didn't just throw the console up for sale and let whatever happens, happens. Um, yeah, it's it's been bad. It's been bad. Waiting rooms are one of the best ways to fight bot sales. That's probably the biggest problem standing in the way of people being able to buy a PS5. Since Walmart announces the time and date for the PS5 drops, bots can quickly sweep in and grab all the stock. That stock ends up on a resale market for triple the retail price. It's I don't understand why Walmart does that. Like They put up the, oh yeah, we're going to put it up for sale, for example, December 3rd at noon eastern standard time and then all the bots are already programmed okay noon eastern standard time to go and buy them so you never get a chance to, to even do it they have no captures they have no uh no like um limit one per customer or anything like that it's it's really bad it's really bad uh, playstation 5 walmart waiting rooms in the u.s to be clear the waiting room we witnessed was only at the canadian version of the walmart website we haven't seen the u.s version use a waiting room before however the use of the waiting room at walmart canada could mean that the retailer might use a similar system at walmart.com next time in other words you might have a better chance of nabbing a ps5 from walmart than you have so far this is this is a good way to fight this Right, it's a very good way to fight this uh, this problem that we're having with bots. Um, for the longest time, we've been saying they should be doing this, even all the way back since um, uh, since the new Nvidia graphics cards went out, the thirty uh, the three thousand series. You know, people were trying to buy those new GPUs. I was one of them, and you couldn't find any. They they sold out immediately online. Uh, at every single retail store because of bots, and you couldn't go to a uh, you couldn't go to a, a a store like Best Buy or anything to buy the GPUs. And now with the PS5s and the Xboxes, it's exactly the same thing. Although to an Xbox, it's a little bit lesser extent because let's be honest, more people want the PS5s than they do the Xbox worldwide. 
and I'm and before people get in the comments, and I know somebody's gonna do this and be like, oh, but I want to be, I want an Xbox, and I want a PS5. I understand that. I'm not saying that you can want whatever you want, but what I'm saying is that worldwide, more people seem to want a PS5, uh, and this is a good way to fight against those bots. Target should be doing stuff like this. They're not, uh, but you know, if you watched my video on uh, what Target retail stores are doing, then you'll know that. Some, I don't know about all, but I, there's a lot of comments in that video, specifically even some people who worked at Target who have even said that they their managers have been doing that as well, where they, they cancel the orders if they see one person has multiple orders because they're limiting one per customer in, when they go to pick them up in the store. Um, I don't know. Like Best Buy needs to do stuff like that. They need, they need to. They need to find a way to fight against the bots. Uh, Walmart doing the waiting room is a good way to do that. It's a good way to handle that. Honestly, I... I think that all retailers should be doing waiting rooms. That's a good way to fight it. It's a very good way. Um, like I said before, PlayStation's website, when they sell PS5s directly, they have a queue. You log in with your PlayStation account, and you're you're put into a queue. Um, it'll, it'll send you a reminder when it's your turn to buy the PS5, and you have a certain amount of time to buy the PS5. That PS5 will be locked into your cart, and, and it'll give you, I think, like 10 minutes or, or 15 minutes or something like that to buy the PS5. That is a good way to, to do it. And I, I, I'd like to see this going on so more people who want the consoles can buy the consoles. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace out, guys.